Dear friends, a few days ago, I was celebrating my granddaughter's fourth birthday in a room full of multicolored balloons. Soon all children started bursting the balloons with great fun and joy. Fear too is full of multicolored balloons having mostly air and a little bit of balloon. We need to burst them with knowledge to get rid of fear. When I saw impact of fear of COVID-19 to our mental and physical well-being, I was really shocked. I believe we all are victims of this fear, which could be even more dangerous than COVID-19 virus and its variant. According to a study published in the International Journal of Social Psychiatry by the claim Nimhans, that is National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Bangalore, on Indian patients, cases of anxiety and depression before the pandemic were 10%. Today, it is more than 40%. In a similar study conducted under the ages of Indian Psychiatric Society and published in India Journal of Psychiatry. And this is the reported anxiety and depression during pandemic. Poor sleep is another impact of the pandemic, which increased from nearly 35% pre-pandemic to 62 percent now. In fact, a survey of 4,078 migrant sufferers by Neurology Department of G.B. Punt Institute, New Delhi, over 51 percent reported significant worsening of migraine in terms of increased frequency of attack, headache days, and severity and duration. Recent research published in European and Indian journals show that even common medical lifestyle conditions associated with stress like hypertension, diabetes and obesity had worsened in over 40% of people during the pandemic. We have also learned to live in a web-based interactive environment during last two years. Let us now examine what is the outcome? Recently, there is a research published in the International Journal of Health Science and Research shows that 70% of people complain of body pains and discomfort. Clearly, we all want to go back to the normal lifestyle. We were used to and not such a stressful life with COVID-19 situation. This can be done by us alone, by becoming stress-free during the pandemic. May I suggest to follow just six simple steps towards physical and emotional well-being. Remain connected with loved ones and friends. You continue to relax with music, books, hobbies, sports, and get enough sleep. Be physically active and adopt a healthy and balanced diet. Be positive, hopeful, and optimistic. Do breathing exercise daily. And finally, seek professional help at early sign of symptoms. Finally, but most important, get vaccinated and follow up with booster doses as and when available. Accept mask as a way of life during COVID-19 pandemic. Protect yourself and people around you. Finally, live normally socializing with caution, keep your spirit always free, be happy, 
and I am sure you will be safe.